for anyone who doesn't understand esports, the big thing about it is that it's it's sort of a, a segregated community. It's its own subculture, and for a while, it it, it, it didn't really have a, a, any prominence. It always kind of existed. It's only natural that if I'm playing a game and I have any competitive bone, I'm gonna want to beat you at it. It's simple as that. So over time, there was people always playing, but it wasn't until sort of the, the broadcasting platforms caught up with it, the internet bandwidth caught up with it to make it more uh, viewable. In the back away a little bit, he had a teammate there as well, but Oxfast doesn't give a damn, it gets two, no Pasha kills Taz there, the team kill comes through. The commentary role kind of was built out of necessity as well, and, and the same thing as I said with sort of building foundations and how esports has grown over time. The, the, the first people that commentated were people that were passionate about gaming and wanted to help build it into something legitimate. And I maintain, I'm a little bit biased as a commentator myself, I got into it as a former player, my father was in radio, I jokingly commentated one day and it led to me getting asked to do a charity land and then I went from there. And, um, but I think commentary adds the legitimacy and almost the sales pitch to the game, that element. It is still gaming and it is for people who don't know what they're watching. If they watched on TV, they're just going to write it off, they're just going to say that stereotypical, oh well it's just a video game. But when you add in the analytical side and the storylines and the excitement factor that, you know, that we kind of bring, it captures people, even if they don't know what they're watching. If we do a good enough job, they're gonna stay and watch a little bit more of it. And because of that, we help legitimize it, and then you can build an audience. You can start to spread the demographic. So, I mean, when you're, when you, from a layman's perspective, if you watch CS, Counter-Strike, without knowing what's going on, and with no commentary, you're not gonna understand the timing, the intricacy of the flashbang, why one kill is more important than another, why that position on the map is so important. When we bring that, and where it's sort of repetition, you kind of watch into it, it really, captures like the audience, like I said, the audience, it pulls them in, it makes them want to stay for more. And I think it's really important and it's, it's, it's a craft of its own. It's, you know, I take influence from other sportscasters. I think one of my all time favorites, I'm a big Formula One fan, Murray Walker. He was the same thing. If you just watched a race, even if it was the most boring race, his voice was so endearing that you just listened. You, you would just listen to everything he was saying. And you know, if, if we can have that kind of influence, if we can help promote the game and build the audience, then that's awesome. And, and I think it's a pretty important role.